All right, this is Oracle of Seasons Randomizer playing on the Archipelago version. Today we are going to be just playing around, seeing what we got, uh, testing out new version of the tracker that was released about a week ago. And uh, we'll see what's going on here. So of course, like, like usual, we have basically everything randomized. We've got old men, we've got the gash of seeds, heart pieces, we've got the digging spots. There's a whole bunch of things that we're going to be looking into. Got ourselves a gnarled key already. I'm going to go ahead and check how many essences we need in order to beat the seed. Real quick. Five essences, not too bad. Also something to note, uh, if we're just looking at the tracker, the tracker doing the auto tracking has already told me that Horon Village is a random seed, so it's not going to be set. But everything else is set to spring. So that's good to know. Early Dimitri means we're just going to be eating a lot of things. A lot of mushrooms. A lot of... Uh, oh, okay. I'll take that. A lot of bushes. All that fun stuff. I guess we don't need to worry about the bushes anymore. Boomerang there is good. Wooden bird, not a big fan of, but it is an item. Hey, what's up, Snow? Thanks for the good luck. What's up, Brandy? Thanks for the good luck as well. Alright, there's some rupees. Uh, how much was the items in there? I think there was something for a hundred. Uh, actually, hold on. We gotta check advanced shop. Check the advanced shop. See what's there. Flippers. Absolutely. No, I think with this version of the randomizer, or like, with this version of the tracker, it will track seasons automatically. Regardless, so like, we'll know that information from the start, essentially. Like, it's good to know, but at the same time, I don't want to discover it on your own. You know what? I'm going to do something interesting here. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to get that last. I think this is the way this is the way to go. Oh. There's a fool's lore. Oh, it's a key. I need the key. Yeah, I think if it tracked it as we entered the area, it would be probably be for the best. Instead of it tracking immediately. Because you lose out on that sense of discovery. Oh, key is self-locked. So that gets me all the way back here. That's good. Uh, was there anything else I wanted in here? I think I want the bird, honestly.
Because that's a free check. And then I, I still have 10 rupees for, um, for Blano. And we got a jewel! Alright. Now let's go on an adventure. We have some stuff. We can uh, now check out a lot of things out in the overworld. We don't need Dimitri. <laughs> we actually don't need Dimitri for anything. I guess... I guess in theory we only need Dimitri if we want to do the Moblin. Two essences. Or I guess for now, to destroy mushrooms. That's the only other thing that Dimitri would be good for. Until I get either both boomerangs or I get a uh, bracelet. Ooh, okay. Cocodex is good. I think I check out the dungeon right now. now. Now's probably a good time to enter a dungeon. Yeah, that's true. I could also do the Sunken City Waterfalls. Which I have access to. I have access via via the drop off. I don't I don't need a feather in order to get in there. All right, small key. I can only get one more check in here. We'll easily come back here later, so don't need to worry about it too much. Oh, I, I could have turned in the Cucko Dex. Eh, it'll be fine, right? I think I'm more interested right now in just going on an adventure. We'll come back later. Alright, repeats are cool. I'll take those. Actually, I'll go up here first. Yeah, I'll get this one check up here. Then we'll come down, we'll go around to Sunken City. We'll drop into Eastern. And go from there. Because I know I can get out of Eastern. It doesn't even matter, really, because we have... Uh, warp to start available. I, 
I forgot about the underwater Gasha, too. That's not too concerning. I think just getting access to all these areas is probably the best thing right now. And then ultimately, uh, accessing the trees. Now we can't harvest any seeds because we don't have anything for the seeds, but... There's a feather. And our bracelet! Okay. Coming here was a good idea. I don't want to drop into Woods of Winter just yet. Mostly because I know that I would have to tree warp out of that. Oh yeah, I have a bracelet now. I can do this. I forgot that there were stairs here for a second. And there's bombs! Cool. Alright. We can probably make some progress in here if we get a small key. I need a small key off of this specific jack. And we got it. Yeah, exactly. It's only half of the locations available anyway, so it's not even really worth it. Well, I guess now that we have bombs, that makes it three out of four. We would just need winter in order to get everything else. Alright, another jewel. So the good news is we got bombs, so we can actually do the mini-boss here. Uh, bad news is we don't have the key yet. So we may just be ember-locked out of here. Yeah, we're, we're just ember-locked, okay. We'll come back there later. Alright, takes me to the furnace. That allows me to get a lot of stuff done in Subversia. Like, honestly, Furnace 
and pirate slash hide and seek are the best portals to get early. Oh, we got the treasure map. I mean, we still don't know if we actually need any more things. Any more jewels. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Mr. Guy over here. Yo, what's up, Dishonix? Thanks for the good luck. Appreciate it. Been watching my YouTube vids. Finally able to catch one live. Very nice. I lost count. I think... I think this should be 10, but I'll do one more to just be super safe. I don't know if that counts. Don't know if that counts. I'm gonna do it like that. I'll probably be at like 12. Exactly 12. <laughs> and more rupees, good. Honestly, it might even be worth just like making that into a one sign and then you don't have to worry about it. They just destroy one sign and that's it. A uh, village, cool. It's a nice easy way back. Uh, there is nothing here, unless this is a good ring. Yeah, there's just nothing here. Cool. I guess bomb upgrade is good. I'll take the bomb upgrade, why not? Also, I just noticed the tracker doesn't have bombs. <laughs> there's just no bombs there at all. Period. I don't know if that is intended, or if that's a bug. That's probably a bug. And clicking on the space where the bombs are... Just... yeah. It does nothing. It's a bug that happens when you get two bombs. Oh. So I, I'm sure it's known then. A shield. I kind of want to take the long way, but at the same time. Portal? I want to get the information on the portal so I can start thinking. Okay. So, top of Temple Remains. 
can't do anything with that yet. But that is interesting to see. me I want to go back and follow the path some more? Like, go back the way we came? Because back in Eastern, we can do the Engine Grease turn in. Probably the best thing for me to do right now. Because that's the only thing left in this side of the map right now. And then, I guess I do have Woods of Winter. Drop into Woods of Winter. And then leave from there. Go back to the, the start. And start handing up a few things. But I definitely want to turn in this engine grease while I'm in the vicinity. Because I don't have access to anything else. Cucko access, according to the tracker. Alright, that's a heart container. That might be good to come back to. Because, let's see, I don't have summer to be able to go through the underwater. I don't have a shovel to go through Mount Goron Mountain. And portal wise, I can't get there. Sitting at 318, I'm probably going to end up going buying the boomerang at this point. Yo, what's up, Soul? Thanks for the good luck. Thanks for the good luck, Zagnuts. Appreciate it. Yeah, boomerang is probably a good idea. I guess I have eyeglass portal access, so we can hit up eyeglass portal. Uh, I also have 
Spool Swamp Portal as well. So, yeah, I think we're just gonna hit up some portals now. That's probably the best play here. Because maybe that will get me access to uh, those areas, but I don't think the tracker knows that I have access to those areas via portals. Alright, Eyeglass is the dungeon. Okay. So I get two checks out of this and I have to leave. One is a boss key. And the other is a small key. Faster way out. Yeah, so I'm gonna hit up... Hit up this underwater spot. Then I'm gonna hit up... Uh, do I want to go to Mount Kuko? I can get the the ring box up there. Technically. Now I think we just want to head and check out this other portal. Yeah, we still have the three locations in Woods of Winter. I just have to, like, make my way back on that side of the map, you know? Plus, there's a good chance that this will get me to the desert as well. Combo. Okay, Seed Satchel. There's our big progression. So that thing is going to get me access to everything, pretty much. We're going to want to get our... all the seeds that we can get. Question is, where were... Gale Seeds? Oh, Cape. Let's see, Gale Seeds, I want to say I saw them. North Horon? I think I want to say, say there.
right? Alright, there's, there's a couple more checks we can grab here. Since Suburbs leads to Furnace, that's probably our best bet. Is just leaving out of Furnace, and then uh, going to Suburbs. I'm not sure which sea type is there, but we'll get whatever's there. Probably head up to Sunken from there. Get whatever C type is there, maybe. Drop into Woods of Winter from there. That could work. Again, it depends on where the seeds are. Those are scents. We didn't really want those. Yeah, as soon as we get Ember or Mystery Seeds, we can finish off one and two. And then make a lot more progress. That's my current plan. Finish off dungeons one and two. Since I don't have summer yet, I still can't go up this way. Alright, there's our Gale Seeds. That works. Coming this way was worth it. Oh, yeah, more bombs doesn't hurt. And more bombs! <laughs> Just all the bombs.
Alright, so that was Mysteries. I'm gonna go grab Embers right now. And then we're gonna make our way. I'd rather just get them than not use them. Plus, having Ember Seeds means we can start doing the Old Men. That seems like a good idea, is to start uh, knocking them out. Also, while I'm in the vicinity, um, let me take a peek. Just in case. Oh, we have, we have enough. We can get in here. We need the, the seasons to actually do anything, but uh, we can open the gate, at least. Yeah, the start has been pretty stacked, I would say. Like, we've, we've been able to do uh, a good amount of stuff. Yo, Daxel, thanks for redeeming Disney Karaoke. What song would you like to hear? Any preference? Something from Hercules? Oh, let me let me think. Zero to hero? Zero to hero, just like that. Zero to hero, and that's a fact. <laughs> I don't I don't know that one that well. Alright, who put the glad in gladiator? Hercules. I know like little lines here and there, and that's about it. Um where am I headed? I'm headed to here. The lake. Oh, I could have gotten that too. Uh, I'll get that on my way out. Because on my way out, I'll probably just warp to start. Let's see. Uh, D1 is at 2 entrance, okay. Okay, Ghastly Doll. Not bad. Alright, I do have a key already. I gotta consider that. It's not worth holding on to that. And I don't think I really need any more rupees. 
So I think we're pretty good. Yeah, I already bought the boomerang. The only other thing that was interesting was a heart container for 60. Next time I'm in town, I could grab that. Also, I have to factor in, I may... may need to go, um... buy something from Syrup Shop. So I may need rupees there. But I need winter and I need the mushroom, so it's a long ways off, for sure. Trying to go fast in that room and just getting completely owned. Because <laughs> I don't want to switch my inventory. <laughs> Let's see, I do have enough rupees, or uh, enough keys in order to go and do a uh, boss key check. So I'm gonna go do that. Yeah, I'll do the full loop. The full setup. That was just a map, okay. What that means is there's going to be an item on the boss then. This ends up being... Okay. Now Kuko is screaming at me right now. I think we want to head up there.
but not before I handle a couple of things. We, could, we definitely want to finish up D1 before we go and do any overworld stuff. I think it's... I want to check out the Bosky slot first. Because I don't have Bosky yet. There is a key in here. And it is boss. Okay. That's what I wanted to do. That was exactly how it went. I wanted it to go. Oh yeah, I have not been in this room. So I do, in fact, have to check this chest. the other key. Perfect. It's not perfect, but, you know, it is something. Uh, we have map and compass, so that means we do have an item in the back. I guess we'll just run back there real quick. Check it out. That also gives me a little bit of time to formulate a plan. Mount Kuko's kind of screaming at me. Desert's kind of calling my name. couple other, like, random checks here and there. I could even go back into D5. Like, despite not having a, um, a magnet glove, like, we can do a lot in D5. I really don't need more bombs, honestly. Oh wait, I have the- I have the egg. I have the egg. <laughs> and she just gives me more bombs anyway. Thank you, Mabel. Appreciate it. Bomb flower. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, let's just do desert while we're here. There's no better time than the present. I getting to Mount Kuko? I don't think I am right now. Because the portal is the volcano. And again, no summer and no shovel. That was a close one. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get this heart container now. <laughs> Not waiting any longer. I haven't done this tree yet. Let's do this one. Why don't I heal at Impa? Because I forgot Impa's a thing. <laughs> I'm so used to not using Impa. There's our magnet gloves. Oh. I think we go do D5. the slingshot. Okay. Yeah, let's just finish off D5. That is definitely the place we want to go. We just need to get access to two more dungeons.
because we only need five essences to beat this. We're already at two, we're about to get our third. We don't have access to any more dungeons, though. That's the one, uh, downside right now. If we find Autumn, we get another dungeon. If we find summer, we get a lot of things. But I don't think it's really a dungeon, though. Rusty Bell gets me a dungeon. Uh, the other keys don't really get me anything right now. A little unfortunate. So we get winter. Alright, in order to beat this, I have to go this way. But in order to get all the items in here, I... Yeah, I think that that has to be a small key. Or... Yeah, so the basement has to be a small key. Which seems... wrong. But yeah, we did it. We beat the dungeon. I just gotta figure out where I wanna go. We got winter. So winter... What is that gonna do for me? Holly's house? That's about it. It gives me access to Syrup Shop, but you can't do anything without the, the mushroom. Thank you. 
great ring to find. Absolutely love it. Hey, we finally got a little bit of health. That's good. Yeah, right now, I think... Going up Goron Mountain is the path that we want to take. There's a couple things we can grab up there. And if we end up getting a shovel along the way, that gets me a few more things as well. Okay. Got a potion. That's nice. I guess. I wouldn't really want the potion right now, though. I'd rather have the potion later. Since you can only get one potion in this game. That's just rupees. Okay. Alright, let me check Black Beast. Noble Sword's okay. I'm... Can't complain about that. Let's get the three essence gasha seed from inside the tree. Oh, I think I know where I need to go. Let me see if my hunch is correct. Because I got the bomb flower. So I'm thinking we have to go into the tower here.
There we go, there's our progression. Let's go clean up the Rusty Bell and head to our next dungeon. Honestly, the only dungeon we don't want to see is 6 right now. I guess we also don't really want to see 8. That's more of a personal preference thing. Oh, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. We're not finding anything right now. I mean, health is good. I'll take health any day of the week. See what we've got. Uh, we gotta check this. Okay, just a gash of seed. We don't need to worry. It's seven. Alright, seven's not bad. Do I see? We got Summer! Summer is a good one. That is a good find. The only problem is without other things, Summer doesn't really get us any more dungeons. But Summer is used a lot of places, so that gets me access to Mount Guko. Finally.
the exact last one. Don't you just love it? a pretty clutch piece of heart. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Alright, so with this layout, it looks like there has to be a key here, and there has to be a key at the front. So no boss key, so that means we're checking out the back of the dungeon for the boss key. All right, there's our boss key. I think the ideal scenario right now is just do the boss and then we'll come back in and figure out what else we need. Probably just have to go to the back. Yeah, there's only items left. Items and key. So yeah, there's there's one item, two keys, essentially. And one of the keys has to be in the front, the other one has to be back here somewhere.
So yeah, this should guaranteed be the item. It's not bad. I'll take it. And now with summer, we just go straight over to uh, Mount Kuko. We just have access to so many things up here now. So realistically at this point, go mode is going to be comprised of a combination of Dragon Key, Floodgate Key, Autumn. I guess I reset it by going through the volcano here. Because blowing up the volcano does get me a check. ourselves another season. There's Autumn. Okay, so we're probably in go mode now, but just to be safe. I'll at least check this stuff here. Because another heart container can't hurt. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up a save point here. And we're going to check what that entrance is. And be disappointed when it's D8. Or D6, even. Gotta remember, D6 is still a thing we can't do. It's D3! Okay. We're good.
So now I just need to find the boss key. That's the only thing I need. This is actually a good dungeon to have as our go mode dungeon. Look at that. <laughs> there we go. Can I run? <laughs> We're zooming. We're zooming again. This is our fifth essence. Let's grab it. Would I do key sanity once AP has? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a try. Of course. I probably wouldn't do key sanity every time, but uh, I'll definitely at least try it out once or twice here and there. Alright, I'm pretty sure I have enough bombs. Uh, the only thing I'm a little concerned about is... Uh, our seed counts. Probably should have looked at those earlier. Yeah, I think we're fine. Like, as long as I'm not going in with zero, I'm, I'm pretty much okay. And Ghoul Joy Ring does help a lot, out a lot with uh, seed stuff and getting refills on stuff.
Alright, let's go. I should still be okay. I know two hearts is pretty low, but yeah. We'll be fine. Not if I drop off like that. And missed the hand. Yeah. Great start. But oh, there we go. But we're not done yet. Still have to fight Ganon. Last seed, you had to fight Onyx with Feather and no Pegasus seeds. And five hearts. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. It doesn't give you the refill anymore, which is interesting. Because I'm pretty sure you get a refill coming in here um, in the regular game. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to be fine because we have a potion. But yeah. I wasn't... I was expecting the refill. I would have I played that a lot differently if I knew we didn't get a refill here. This first phase of the fight is really dumb. Because you can't see them 95% of the time. And even if you can see them, trying to predict where you're going to hit the, the shots is not happening. Alright, there goes our potion. How did that die? How did that not hit? Oh? How? <laughs> the off-screen snipe. That, that doesn't feel fair, honestly. The second phase is so much harder. Like, I... I 
think you're supposed to get knocked back with the full sword. I know you get knocked back with the sword. Alright, let's let's fight the pig. Oh, my favorite attack. Let's go. Oh, we got him. We got him during the reverse controls. Let's go. <laughs> and there we go. We're done. We finish with an official time of 134.57. Not bad. Yeah, the Ganon fight, if you're not familiar with all his attacks, can be very hard. Especially since you have to do it right after fighting Twin Rova. And the Twin Rova fight isn't the easiest fight. Though with Fool's Or, apparently it's like, super free. I have to ask about the knockback thing again, because I, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to still have knockback with the Fool's Orb. Oh yeah, Twin Rova Phase 1 with the Wooden Sword, where you have to do Spin Slashes to hit the orbs back. Yeah, that is really awful. Ganon isn't too bad. Like, once you know his patterns, you can avoid 95% of it. You can actually avoid all of it if you're not bad. And it's just a, an endurance battle, essentially. Just how many times are you going to have to worry about your controls getting reversed? But yeah, this scene was interesting. It forced us into doing two dungeons, and then getting the Magnet Glove, and then going and doing more dungeons after that. Like, we didn't, we didn't really have many options in terms of dungeons we could do. We kind of got forced into a certain path. 
which is okay. Yeah, the reverse control part, like, will get you the first time or two that you see it. But then he telegraphs it enough where you can be like, okay, I'm gonna stand still for a second, let me prepare to go the opposite direction. And it's usually not too bad if you just do like diagonals and like you just keep pressing like up left to go down right and then, you know, kind of move in a circle. At least that's how I usually uh, approach that. Uh, you've been doing Agents of Seasons randomizers on your own time. Does Carrefour Branch have Tree Warp on it? It has Warp to start, so if you double tap Select, you should bring up a new menu that has Warp to start available on it. And that that's the alternative to Tree Warp. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up here. Thank you all for watching this lovely Oracle of Seasons Archipelago Randomizer. I hope you enjoyed everything you've seen today. Definitely going to be doing more of these in the future, so make sure to drop a like, leave a follow, all that fun stuff, and I will catch you next time.